Hi everyone, this lesson is about identifying outliers from a data set and in this example we have uh, continuous data, we can see that the data has uh, decimal values so I'll be using the mean and standard deviation to determine if any of these data points perhaps could be outliers. So the first job is to enter stats mode on the calculator. This is just a single variable, so option number one, and I'll be typing the data in here. Feel free to skip ahead. So there's our data entered. Remember when we press all clear here, it just clears the screen. The data still exists in memory. So the first thing I need to do is to use the stats menu here. And I'll be looking here at the uh, variance menu, number four, to find the mean. And I have a mean of 40.5. Let me just write that down. The next thing I need to know is the sample standard deviation, S. Again, once I have my calculator back, we'll see. So stats menu, option four for variance, and it's this one here, number four, 13.1. In order to decide whether something is an outlier, we need to apply the rule mean minus 2.5 by the standard deviation, and the score x should lie to greater than this, or mean plus 2.5 by the standard deviation. So that would become 40.5 minus 2.5 by 13.1 or 40.5 plus 2.5 by 13.1. Let's check what those are equal to. So that one is 73.25, that's the, the uh, upper value, the upper limit, 73.25. And now for the lower limit. So I can use the replay button on the calculator and just change that to subtract 7.75. Now these two values, 7.75 and 73.25, they're sometimes referred to as the fences. Uh, anything outside the fence is an outlier. So let's take a quick look. We're looking for numbers less than 7.75. There's one, that's all. And now we're looking for numbers greater than 73.25. And there are none. So the only outlier that we've identified is 6.1. how you work out the numbers which could be outliers in your uh, data set. 
using standard deviation and mean. Now, please be aware that this formula is not on the QCAA formula sheet, which is annoying, but I'm sure you can remember it for yourselves. Thanks for watching.